honored guests. We love the fact that you decided to come in with us uh, this morning. We pray that you'll stay here and be enjoyable. We also pray that uh, you'll come back and view us again. We pray that our service will be up to such that you'll be encouraged, uplifted, motivated, and also, if you're not a child of God, we pray and say something that will cause you to want to get closer to God. The greatest privilege that's been extended to all of these is to become a child of God. Amen. God wishes that all of you will be saved. And so we pray today for you. And so all those who are dealing with us, we would have to have you be. Please, come back and be my mm -hmm. guest. Nobody else tells you they're happy to see you. I'm happy to see you. I'm more than happy to see you. And I would love to see you again. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As we have announced, I want to remember those who are seeking shut in, uh, the Peyton, uh, from what his mother tells us, and doing well, doing a lot better. Uh, let's pray for him. The good sense of the key here. Uh, yeah, every, amen. Every Sunday and Wednesday, we have to pray for us. Sister Jolie, and she's here this morning, so we're going to see her. So the diet is here. It's good to see her as well. Uh, invite us to the sick. Let's pray for them. Sister Esther. As you know, Sister Pat is our reporter. She gives information about those who are sick and ill, so let's pray for her. And we're so good since the king walked in because the Pat Lord. just said yeah. the king wasn't fitting with. Mm -hmm. And when everybody saw him walk in, we looked we look at the shirt. <laughs> Amen. 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 So it's good to see her. Good mm -hmm. to see all of you all this morning. Uh, at this time, before we get our service, if anyone is there, need a prayer. Yeah. Anyone needs to confess and see it. Mm -hmm. Anyone has any good news they would like to share with us? In a short way, uh, we'll do what we can get time before we get our service on this morning. Is there anyone? Anyone? Matter of fact, let me get started on the telephone conference call, which I did start. Get you old. Know. Amen. It's a blessing to grow old. Thank you, Will. Praise the Lord. Amen. Today, praise the Lord, thank you, Jesus. And he, he and his new wife are going to be traveling back to Seattle. So pray for my family traveling back to Seattle. Amen. And my daughter, my oldest daughter, Sandra, is with me today. Amen. Thank you, sir. Amen. Oh, yes. Make sure I do it. Amen. Anyone else? I'm asking the church to continue praying for my family. And uh, I want to let my family here. Our Christian family know that God is evil. Oh, yes. 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 Amen. Amen. I want y'all to know something. It was so funny. And I saw some of the king calling me. 
I kind of feel bad. I said, I'll put the call in. Call me. Well, the kid already gave me the information. And so it's good to hear her voice. Uh, yeah, so uh, see the fat man and the I was kind of shocked. I said, tell us what's the king. What do you want to my friend? I know you do. Amen. But she here. I have a, a testimony, a good, well, I don't know how you want to call it, but God is good. Oh, what you're saying right now, and what Sister King is saying, I went to visit with Sister King when we were sitting down talking. I said, Diane, she said, Brother Harold called me. I don't remember dialing his number. And here you are, you know, you're saying Sister King called me, you know, and God is good. You know, everything is done on time. Amen. Yes. Yes. Brother Kenneth had told me, as a matter of fact, Brother Kenneth called me and said, I talked to Mr. Gee. I said, oh man, I'm going to come back and I'm going to call up right after I get on the phone with you. But like that, I don't know how to do that. She was calling me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you're telling me she got, she called me. That's all right. She called me. She dialed a number. We had a good conversation. Amen. 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 That's, that's what it's like to be part of our family. Praise the Lord. Awesome. Um, brothers and sisters, I want you to pray for me so that I can stay encouraged. Um, and I can be able to encourage others that I, that people that I talk to. Also, I'm happy that my, my family's here. I, I've asked them to come in, but we got only had to ask one time. So it's not like I have to keep calling. But the, today, somehow, in between the study and stuff, I was checking the tracking. <laughs> so Mary said, I'm tracking the people. But I had a reason for tracking, so I was back to my daughter. She was being dope. Pray for me that, I, that, that God will keep me doing what I'm doing. Amen. 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 I'd like to ask prayers um, for Esther. She is still in the hospital. And um, I'm here to try and assist as much as I can. Um, but I thank God for bringing me here and allowing me to be here for her and the rest of my family. And I'm so happy to be here with my other church family. Amen. 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 Anyone else? Anyone else? Let us pray. Dear Father and all mankind, we thank you for this day. This moment, this space and time. We have come to this place to praise you, to give you glory, to give you honor, to give you all a hallelujah. We're mindful and thankful of the fact that we are coming among the living today. Yes. And so we thank you. Thank you, Father. You woke us up this morning yes, and allowed us to see a brand new day. Yes. For a brand new day comes new hopes. For a brand new day, your master, comes a reassurance of your steadfast love that never ceases. And all your mercies that never come to you. So at this moment, we first give you gratitude give you praise for thanksgiving for being the great God that you are to us. So we thank you. For this service we pray. For all of those who have the prayers we pray. For those on the Tunnel Conference line we pray. For all those who are present we pray. For those who are traveling we pray. For those out of the ministry who are traveling be the saints at Cottonport we pray. For those of our saints who are sick and in hospitals, we pray. Yes. We pray for all we meet everywhere. Yes. For presidents, the master, for mayors, yes. for governors, yes. for senators and congressmen. We pray for all of those in authority. Yes. We pray this prayer because you asked us to pray this prayer for all men. Yes. So we have a prayer for the world. And our prayer for the world is that all men will be saved. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we Jesus. pray. Amen. 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 I'm going to mute the telephone conference at this time. Okay.
care. We get a soul book and a soul folder. Let's begin to praise God on this morning. Soul book and soul folder. <laughs> Two six one. Two six one. Watch it design. From we that
that came in the horizon and know that we were headed to a place where we could worship the Lord and shout his name with joy. Yeah. Lord, we thank you. Thank and each thank of you. Us know you. We thank you for that you gave your son so that we could have life everlasting in you. Lord, we thank you that we are here to endeavor to do the will that you have placed upon us. Yes. So Lord, I just thank you for this day. As the word says, it's not come. But thank you, Lord, that we are all gathered here to worship the God of most high. Yes. And we pray that you will keep us as we leave this world and go about our worldly deeds. This we say in the matchless name of Christ, Lord, my Savior, and your Savior. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Jesus.
try.
<laughs> Truly, the child of God understands was surely that when the world around him begins to cave in, the troubles come through the front door and have not left yet from the back door. And trials and tribulations bow your head in sorrow. Surely the child of God knows there's a power he has. Yeah. Yeah. The power of prayer. Mm -hmm. To talk to God. And, and, and I, I, I like I like I like the, the thought that, that, that when, when, when we pray to God, uh, uh, the Hebrew words basically say he leans his ear mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. towards yeah. 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 our lips. So he can hear what we are saying. Amen. But not only that, when there's no understanding sometimes, because sometimes the only thing we can do is sign. Yeah. yeah. The Holy Spirit interprets that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And brings that to God. Amen. Life doesn't change in so much that you can only just. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anybody mm -hmm. sign lately? Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 understand. Yeah. Even God understands. Yeah. Has anybody ever threw their hands up? Huh? Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Amen. Oh, oh, yeah. Aren't you glad the Holy Spirit can bring that to God and yeah. tell God exactly yeah. Amen. how you feel? Amen. Amen. You know, we've learned in life how to hide feelings. Yeah. Uh, sometimes we come in here with smiling on the outside, yeah. but the inside yeah. is there. Where's a frown? Yes. Yeah. I'm so glad that the God I serve knows me inside out. Yeah. Yeah. Some, someone said he, he's like Superman. He has X-ray vision. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Amen. Amen. He can see right through you. Yeah. Yes. Now, that may be good and bad. Yeah. 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 Amen, somebody. Yes. Yes. He sees those things you think nobody else sees. Yes. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Now that can be good and bad too. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. All the time we say things like that, we always talk about the bad. But sometimes we do things in secret that are good. Amen. 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 The other day I was coming out of Walmart. I saw a young man. And I could tell he wanted to be, but he didn't. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you, but sometimes you look in somebody's eyes and you can tell yeah. 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 I didn't wait for him to ask. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I just gave him something. Yes, sir. That's all right. Somebody say, well, how, how, do you not, how do you not know he was not going to use that for something he shouldn't have been using it for? I don't have time to judge that. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I just believe, I remember Sister Simon when she was a little, she said something that really caught my attention. She said, when I see people begging, he said, I give. Amen. Amen. He said, I give because guess what? Yeah. I may not have to be in that position. Amen. But I got, but I got children. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. And she said, one day one of my children. Yes, sir. Yeah. He had to stand on somebody's corner. Huh. Oh, no. And I think all the time we see those on corners and we say, you know, I'm not giving them nothing. But that somebody on the corner is still somebody they yeah. 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 I don't know what's going on in our world, but I can tell you our world is changing for the worse. Yeah. Yeah. So I pray to God that God's children will always stand up and do those things that are right, even if they're doing right, ain't popular. Yeah. 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 It's not popular today yeah. to do what's right. Mm. But it's still right. Yes, sir. Amen, somebody. Yes. So we're yes. yes. thankful. I'm going to get you into my lesson because I want to be like I was last week. Last week was the short sermon. Yes. I yes. 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 I hope you enjoyed it. I can yes. tell you, it yes. probably would happen again. Yes. But I'm going to do it two Sundays in a row. Yes. 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 So y'all so, so to be on record. That was the next to the shortest sermon that we'll have. He preached the shortest what he did it last week. Yes, um, Matthew chapter 25. Now, I'm just going to read one verse in particular, and I can have the verse. That's part of that verse.
And I'll uh, give you the context of what's, what's going on and why I decided to preach this lesson. Mm -hmm. That's a go. Verse 37 says, Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you? Mm -hmm. Let us pray. Mm. Dear God, we thank you for this day. Thank you. We thank you for this morning, time, this space, and time that we can hear from you. We're talking to you right now in prayer. For the next few minutes, you're going to talk to us. Oh, yes. We pray that uh, the people's ear will be on your word. But not only on your word, but we'll hear it, but we'll be doers of your word. We'll adhere to your word. We'll adhere to that's what we hear. Adherence means to obey, to follow it, not just to listen. We pray that we'll make your word applicable to our lives by doing what it says. Give us that courage to transform it or transfer it from the pages as it's written and make it real of our actions in our life. We pray that prayer. And for everyone who's listening, we pray for an attentive ear. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus. Amen. 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 My heart has been made to feel sorrowful for the last few months and few years in our lives. I'm a people watcher. There are times in my life where I've just sat in places and I've watched people. I've watched people as they walk and get on with what it seems like is a life. I can say sometimes I've been surprised. Sometimes I've not been surprised. I've lived long enough to understand that nothing should surprise you anymore. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Amen. But all sorts of things are going on in this world today. We got to be careful. Oh, yes. I, I, I've become kind of, uh, how do I say it? I, I've become saddened by the affairs of this world. Mm. A young lady could turn down the wrong driveway. Mm. Yeah. And get killed. The young boy, 16 years old, could knock on the wrong door yes, sir. Yes, sir. and get shot. A uh -huh. little girl could be playing basketball outside with her father, and the ball travels to the next door neighbor, y'all. She and her father get shot. And they show it on TV, and she says in that little sweet little boy of a six year old. Why did he have to shoot me and my dad? Mm. Are you looking at the news? Mm. You don't hear any good news right. anymore. Yeah. Right. And when you do, you're so shocked. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Because it rarely happens. Right. Yeah. It seems like every bit of news is bad news. Yeah. And it all revolves around the fact that for some reason, People just can't get along. Mm -hmm. The great Rodney King case yes, sir. in California where he got beat by cops and we saw it with our own eyes. Through a beaten face, he asked the question, can we all just get along? Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm letting you know something. The world seems to be a very chaotic world and nobody seems to get along anymore. Right. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Amen. And I say amen not because I wish it to be true. I say amen because it is true. That's right. It's happening. Yes. You can't even trust your neighbors today. Mm -hmm. amen. 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 And so I've tried to make sense of it all. Mm. I've tried to ask God, God, what will you have us to do in the midst of all this stuff that's going on? Yes. I never thought I would live in a time 
but I can actually see a war star that didn't start before I was born. Mm -hmm. Man, I, 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 I told my preacher friend Howard yesterday, Howard, I gotta be honest tell you, sometimes I don't know how I'm gonna stop from going crazy. Amen. 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 I would love to say things that are happening around me don't happen inside of me, but I'll be lying. I sit home sometimes, MC, I watch TV, and all I can do all day long is share some tears. Mm. Amen. Yes. And they're not tears of joy. No. no. They, they're tears of what is going on in the affairs of men. Mm. Why is it that hatred seems to permeate every corner? Amen. Of our world today. Yes, sir. Right there in New Iberia. New Iberia become one of the greatest cities of crime in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Something's going wrong. Yes. Mm -hmm. Something's going on. Yeah. I was asked years ago, if you had one sermon to preach, what would you preach to the world? If they gave you a, a, a stadium, the largest stadium in America, if they asked you to speak to the world, what would you speak to the world? What would you say? What sermon could you give the world that would help the world in some of the chaos and the chaotic living that's going on, all the hatred between people that's going on. What would you say? Man, I have a whole lot of sermons in mind. But then I thought about one. I thought about one from Matthew chapter 25. I thought about Matthew 25 for this very reason. Let's go to verse 31. When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne, and all nations will be gathered before him. And he will separate the people, one from another, mm. as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goat. Mm. He will put the sheep on the right hand, mm. and the goats on the left. Mm. As I look at this world, I want you to understand what this text is teaching. One day there will be a great gathering of all people, Amen. all nations, all creeds and colors. Oh yes, you're going to see every nation there. You're going to see your African brothers. You're going to see your Asian brothers. You're going to see your Caucasian brothers. Everybody is going to be gathered before God's throne and everybody will have an account of how they live. With each other. Yes, sir. Oh, man. I, I thought about that. I'm not, we can't get along now, but one day there's going to be a good gathering, a great gathering right. of everybody. And you will be there. Yes, Let me tell you who else will be there. All your loved ones will be there. All of those bodies that are burned by fire, all those bodies that are lost in the sea. I want to know even all of those who've gone on before. I need to know they're going to be gathered before the throne of Christ. Yeah. And there's going to be a great separation. Um, and I want you to watch what the separation is going to be based on. Or you're not hearing me. This great separation is going to be based on how we treat it. Um, one another. Yes, sir. Amen. I want to show you that yes, sir. in this text. Now watch it. Watch it. <laughs> then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come you who are blessed of my father. Take your inheritance. The kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. Oh, I want you to know something. Here's your shout. If you never shot before, here's your shot. Yes, uh, God, yes. before he made this world, knew there would be a you. Yes. And that God that knew there would be a you wanted you one day to stay with him forever. Yes, sir. Yes. So before he made anything that was made, he made a place for you to come and be with him. Yes. Are you listening to me? Yes. 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 Your rightful place yes. in this world, after you leave this world, is to be with God. And don't you know this text tells me that all of us that God wants to be with him will not be with him. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But before the world was made, before
before God of the sun, before God hung a moon, before God made a man, God wanted me to come and live with him. And guess who he wanted? All me. We live down here, we fight about color, we fight about social status, we fight about education, we fight about where you live, what kind of house you live in, what kind of car you drive, what kind of clothes you wear. We fight about everything. Amen. I told you I was talking about my son. I got some knock off Jordan come 1995. <laughs> <laughs> I was putting up, look, I was putting those Jordans. Man, I, I walked to Boston Girl Club where I worked with those Jordans on. And my son Tim had the nerve to tell everybody, oh, they're fake. <laughs> Man, leave my fake Jordan on. They gotta know that. Cause they were, cause they look, you keep going around Casey. Me and the Harris put some John. Y'all look at the Harris put the John. The Tim. Oh, my own son. Amen. Come on, man. Pump up your daddy, man. Don't do your daddy like that. Amen. Man, you know it cost 1995. Amen. You know what? I ain't spending no $20 for tennis. That's a lot. Amen. Amen. And now, and now guess what? He's working now. And I'll be like, uh-huh, uh-huh. He was trying to get all the deals he can get. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You're spending your money now. Ain't it amazing how you want the best things when you're spending your money? Yeah. 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 But it's time to stop their money. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And so here we are. Here we are. Now watch this. Why are you going to inherit what you inherit? Before the creation of the world that God has wanted to pay. For I was hungry. Mm. And you gave me something to eat. Yes. I was thirsty. Yes. And you gave me something to drink. Mm. I was a stranger. Yeah. Yes. And you invited me in. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. I needed clothes. Yeah. And you clothed me. Yeah. I was sick. Oh. And you looked after me. Yes. I was in prison. Yeah. And you came to visit me. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, watch this. Because I've heard people say, only what you do for Jesus will last. Mm -hmm. I mean, have y'all heard that? Mm -hmm. People trying to sound good. Whatever you do with the Lord will last. The only thing you do with the Lord, the only thing you do in life for the Lord, the only thing is going to last. Mm -hmm. I want you to watch how Jesus addressed that issue. Mm -hmm. Jesus addressed that issue. Mm -hmm. I want you to watch this. You can't do nothing for Jesus mm -hmm. but obey him. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. And anything else you do for Jesus is in connection with doing for others. Amen. 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 All right. <laughs> Thank you. Y'all understand? Now, now look, look at the text. Jesus specifically speaking, using pronouns. And fed you. 
or thirst and gave you something to drink. When did we see you a stranger and invite you in? Or did he close and clothe you? Watch, watch, watch. When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply. Now, who you talking about? The king. <laughs> now, y'all realize the king don't need nothing the king. Yeah. Yeah. You know the king don't need nothing? Everything is given to him. That's right. Amen. Amen. King don't. No, no, no. No. Matter of fact, the king get the first. You know what the king was? The king got your best. Matter of fact, the king got your best and, you, and he gave you the rest. <laughs> Amen. 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 And matter of fact, he wanted it, you and it was yours. You didn't give it to him, he would take it. Right. Amen. 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 You know, you ever wonder in the story of King David and Bathsheba? Why Bathsheba didn't tell him no? Mm. You know why she didn't tell him no? Yeah. He was the king. That's right. That's right. That's right. You don't tell a king no. The king don't hear no. Everybody trying to kiss up to the king. He the king. Amen. Amen. He can kill you like that. Or he can make you important like that. He the king. Man, man, she had some. She was pretty comfy to rock in a hard place. How about not a king? But I sure wish she would have. Amen. But she did. King! The king will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Did y'all remember that verse? Did y'all pause at that verse? Did it make you stop in your tracks? <laughs> Brother Harold, I want to live for God. I love the Lord, Brother Harold. I love the Lord so much. You, you, you would never understand how much I love the Lord. And my question to you would be, how do you treat your brother?
She said, my name is Joy. Amen. And my sister's name is Faith. Mm -hmm. I said, Joy, I want you to know something. You just brought me some joy. Amen. Amen. So whoever name you, name you right. Because right. she brought me joy. We talked. She said, well, I got to leave now. And, and, and we talked. She said, I'm going to come back and I hope you're in the same spot. <laughs> now, I didn't see her again, but she said to me before she left, she said, I hope somehow we meet again. But let me tell you the greatest joy I had. She told me she lived in Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I have a friend named George Williams, who's a preacher in Austin. Mm -hmm. I told her I want to go visit the Church of Christ. Amen. The East Side Church of Christ Amen. in Austin. She promised me she will. And I guarantee you. Look, I don't know if she's going to keep that word, but I sure thought the way she talked to me, she was going to find out. Matter of fact, she yes. even looked up the address yes. while I was here with her. Amen. Now, I want to tell you that, man, listen, listen, some kind of way, we got to make sense of all this craziness Amen. Right? Amen. that's going on in the world. And for a moment, God gave me one person Amen. on yesterday. Yes. Yeah. That brought me back and made me feel good about humanity. And you don't get that often in this world. Amen. But I felt good talking to Joy. Right. And she left and said, I'm Joy, and you have her. Amen. Then my wife asked me, what's her last name? I said, I remember. Amen. 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 But what is it about? Well, it's about what you just see. Mm -hmm. Well, you've done it Amen. to the least of these, yes. Amen. Amen. my brothers and yes. sisters. Yes. You've done it to me. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. Did, did, did you hear what I just said? Right. The Amen. true value or the true relationship you have with Christ Amen. is based on the relationship you have with people. Even John writes and John says, how can you say right. you love God right. who you have not seen yes, sir. and hate yes. your brother? Amen. 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 Now let me, get, let me bring it home. Because yeah. sometimes we see these people begging. The first thing we say, I hate all them people that beg. We got too many favors and all this around. Ah, 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 ah.
You say, when, when, when did we see you naked? Assume because a man dirty. Amen. He'll Amen. cook. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He might not have a house to stay in. Amen. Everywhere. Are we leery? Yes. You know why we're leery? Because people are crazy. Yes. But we always gotta remember. Who we are. Amen. Amen. I'm a child of God. Amen. So. God, give me the spirit of discernment. Amen. Help me not let this world, man, amen. amen. Turn me on what I know is right to do. Amen. Jesus said, I was hungry. What did I do? What did I do? I fed. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Why? Because anything I'm trying to do for Jesus, I do it through people. Amen. Amen. And the church missed that. Look, 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 look. I need y'all to hear me. I'm not building a more, I'm not trying to build, this church is not trying to build a multi-purpose place so we can look good. Amen. 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 So that's what that little church got to clean in the end. We trying to use it for service Amen. to people. Amen. We trying to help people. We not gonna be open just on Sundays and Wednesday. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. We gonna be open almost every day of the week, serving people. Amen. Why? Because we gonna do what Jesus did. Amen. 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 And then now watch this, because that's another group. That's a race. Remember that's a race. Sheep and goat. Amen. Sheep and goat. Amen. All nations are gonna be there. Let me, let me tell you something. You are either a sheep or you a goat. Amen. And look what it's based on. Yes. Look, I didn't write this in the Bible. I'm going to read it. Amen. Matter of fact, if I write it, MC, I probably would have put it in there. Amen. Amen. But I'm just going to read what it says. That is the reason for them to be sheep and goat. Amen. You don't want to be on the goat side. Amen. <laughs> and what is it based on? Well, let's read it again. Let's read it again. Let, let, let's see it. Let's see what it's based on. Then I will say to those on the left, it's important for me. Mm. Now, now, let's go back. 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 Mm. Because I want you to see something. That, that's a different response. That's a different response. Different response. Four different actions. Four different actions. Watch this. But let me, let me, let me read on. You're going to go back. Verse 41. He was saying to them, Oh, this is nothing. Depart from me. You are cursed. Mm. You're cursed into ever to eternal fire mm. for the devil and his angels. Mm. Prepare to you for the devil and his angels. Mm. Here all the time you were thinking you was on the Lord's side. Mm. Mm. I'm on the Lord's side. I'm a Christian. Mm. Don't we say that? Mm. I'm a child of God. I'm a Christian. To see whether you are sheep or goat. <laughs> now let me help you. When they're young, they look alike. Yeah, yeah. They look similar. Yeah. Can I tell you something? There are people who look like Christians or ain't Christians. Oh. Yeah. Um, they look like. Oh, I don't want to be a look like look like. Yeah. Look like yeah. <laughs> Somebody say, why do why don't you want to be a look? Ask me a question. Why don't you want to, why don't you want to be a look look like Christians? Hmm. Nobody asked me the question. Why? Ask me ask me the question. Why? You know why? why? Here's why. If you're gonna be a hypocrite, yeah. you're gonna be lost anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So you might as well. <laughs> Live it up. Amen. <laughs> you can't get to heaven pretending. Amen. That's right. Amen. I don't know about you, but I don't want to pretend. That's right. That's a waste of time. Yeah. Pretend is a waste of time. I'm still going to be lost. Yeah. Amen. So let me let y'all know something right now. Yes, sir. When Brother Harold ain't trying to live right, get out of Brother Harold's way. Amen. Because 
I'm going to do wrong good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Amen. So when y'all see Brother Howard, drop it. Y'all pray for Brother Howard. Yes, yes. But when y'all see the Lord out there, and I was like, I done, got no shame in my game. Amen. <laughs> that means who you looking at? <laughs>
We'll tell you what God can do. Because He done it for me. Amen. So you're here. I've kept it open up. I think it might be starting to ask me. No, don't look at the clock. Don't look at the clock. <laughs> 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 but I pray to God I've said something to the church. Church, some kind of way. You had to ask God, God, how can you use me? Amen. God, I can't change the world. You can't change the world by yourself. You cannot do it by yourself. Amen. But you can do it one person at a time. Yes, sir. Amen. One person at a time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whatever you do for the Lord, you must do through others. Amen. That's the scripture context of Matthew chapter 25. I pray today we would encourage you to look for somebody to go. Look for somebody to go. Look for somebody to go. I tell you all the time, I don't want to brag about my wife, but I got to brag about her. Amen. I got to brag about her because here's her spirit. Yes. Every gift my wife gives, <laughs> and I'm not lying to you, and I tell you this. Every gift she gives is based on what she would like to receive. Amen. 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 Now, I was asking something. How do you think God will bless her? Amen. Because you don't look in her closet and say, I don't like this. I'm going to throw this away. I don't Amen. like it anyway. No. That's not what she gives. Amen. She gives like it's something she wants. Wow. Amen. Wow. You see, sometimes we think we do a people's favor. Yeah. Because we give them something we're going to throw away anyway. Yeah. You don't have no faith. And then we say stuff like this. Well, they should be happy. Anything they give, they ain't got nothing. Yeah. 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 What if God act that way towards us? Yeah. Yeah. He'd never would have said Jesus. Yeah. He'd have said, do it on your own, Hal. Uh -huh. But God already knew it's not a man that walk into the his own steps. Yeah. So you are not a Christian. The greatest joy has been yours to, to, to do. The greatest joy has been given to you to be a child of God. That's a great joy to be a child of God. Amen. I can't even imagine, I tell you the words, how great it feels to be a child of God. Even if Amen. I can use the proper words, it will fall short of what it means to be in Christ. Oh, I'm learning to love him even more. I took a journey this year, and I got taken for many years now, to get to know God better. And every, every year I take this journey, Amen. God has given me a deeper, a, re, a richer appreciation Amen. for who He is. Amen. I'm just learning who God is. Yes. I thought I knew Him as a young man. I'm going to tell you something, I know Him better as an older man. Amen. Because I experience Him more. Right. Right. And now I know what He can do because I know what He's done in my Amen. life. Yes. I'm talking about what God can do as a young preacher. I experience what God can do as an older preacher. I'm talking because I read it in the Bible. Now I can talk it because I lived it. Amen, Amen. somebody. Amen. And because of that reason, I'm so glad I'm his child. And today, you can be his child. Amen. While bearing the gospel story. How Jesus came and died because he took those sins away. Took you away from a devil and a burning hell. Amen. And went to prepare a place for you. Just Amen. for you. Amen. I want you to know, if you're the only one in this world, Christ still came down here and died for you. That's how important you are. <laughs> to God. Amen. And you can be a child today. Amen. I got to respond. Come down. I ask you the question, do you think Christ is under God? You say yes, we'll baptize you in the water, and that's what it is you say. You've done that in your Christian way. Amen. The greatest joy I have is knowing that my sins are forgiven. Yes. Even when I mess up and miss the mark, all I have to confess my sins. And the Bible says he's faithful and just yes. to forgive us. Amen. Amen. I don't serve a God that holds my sins against me. I serve a God that will to forgive me of my sins. Amen. Amen. That's a joy. Yes. And I live in that joy. If you're here and you want to come, come right now as we stand and sing just as I am. Just, just as I am. I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. 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 Yes. Amen. 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 